Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ryan and today in this video I'll be showing you guys three unique paint jobs in GTA 5 Online which allow you to make your car look like a 1970s Dodge Challenger. If you want to see more videos like this or want to support me, please make sure to leave a like on the video before you leave and also make sure to subscribe if you are a new viewer. So the first iconic paint job from this Challengers which I'll be showing you guys how to make today is Plum Crazy Purple. This color is very sought after on the real life Challengers and this color just looks very very nice in game on the Phoenix and other cars like it. So the first color you want to pick for this is you want to go to metallic and you want to pick bright purple. Now the reason you guys pick bright purple is just because it looks like the most normal purple out of the three. Um, it's not too dark and it's not too light. Now once you guys have done that you want to pick the pearl essence ice white. Now the reason you guys pick ice white is this because it gives you that purple. It really makes it stand out. It gives it that pop. It really makes it look a lot nicer, a lot more clean and it also kind of brightens it up a little bit. Now what I would suggest is if you guys are doing this on something like a phoenix where it has a secondary color, make sure to change the secondary color to the primary color which in this case is bright purple. Choosing the same secondary color as the primary color will make it look a lot more nice and a lot more sanitary. But if you guys don't want that look, just pick whatever color you guys want for the secondary color. So looking at this final color now, you guys see this looks very, very nice. It looks just like the Plum Crazy Purple from the original Challengers. This next color is called Sublime Green. It's very, very simple to make. I just don't think a lot of people knew that this color even existed because it wasn't really that you know desirable on the Challengers. So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go into your metallic primary paint and you want to pick Lime Green as your primary color. Like I said, there's nothing complicated about making this paint. It just It's something cool to do in this game if you guys want to have that period correct look to a car uh, from real life into the game. So, like I said guys, it's not really anything uh, hidden or anything. It's just not a lot of people knew about this color because it wasn't very popular. So, the first thing you guys want to do is you want to pick lime green for your actual primary. And then for your pearlescent, you guys want to pick lime green again. The reason you pick the lime green as a pearlescent is because it actually kind of makes the actual lime green for the primary color, it pops it more, it makes it a lot more bright, and this is kind of the color you guys are looking for when you guys are trying to get that period correct look for Sublime Green from the Challengers. Even if you guys don't like real cars or old cars in real life, these colors are still very unique. Not a lot of people have these kind of colors on their car. Uh, most people do like blue or kind of a deeper green or red, but they don't ever do uh, these really kind of unique car, uh, you know, color combinations like this color. Um, trust me guys, in the light, this thing looks really nice. It just shines so much. It's extremely bright and a lot of people will notice you from a long ways away because it is a very unique color in GTA 5. And finally, the last paint job I'll be showing you guys today is called Hemi Orange. Now it's a kind of a burned orange color and it's typical to Chevy Orange, except this one's a little bit more dark in my opinion. So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go to your primary metallics and you want to pick the color Sunrise Orange just because Sunrise Orange is a very burned orange looking color. Now you guys want to go to your Pearl Essence and you want to pick either Race Yellow or Dew Yellow. Now if you guys don't have Dew Yellow, then you guys have to pick Race Yellow, but I think in my opinion, uh, Dew Yellow is a little bit more bright and it'll kind of make the colors pop a little bit more. So um, in my opinion, I would like to have Dew Yellow on this color, uh, on this color, car and this color. But if you guys don't have uh, Dew Yellow, then pick the other yellow and that's perfectly fine. It'll still give you guys the same effect. Since it was dark out when I finished that color, I really couldn't show you guys what it looked like in the sun, so I went to a race, and I'm going to show you guys in uh, in the race because I set it to daytime. So, um, like I said, guys, it's a burnt orange color, but still, if you guys look at it right, it's a very shiny orange as well. So you guys kind of get that double uh, double effect of the paint. But like I said, it's a pretty close match to Hemi Orange, and uh, if you guys want a, you know, a period correct look, um, I put that wing on there just on my Phoenix to make it look like a super bird. But if you guys aren't into real cars in your life, just use these colors because they are very unique and probably not a lot of people have them because they really don't know how to make them. So anyways guys, that about wraps up the video for today. If you want to see more videos like this or similar content, then please make sure to leave a like on the video so I know how many people want to see the next video. And also make sure to leave a comment saying so if you guys do support the series. Thank you guys for watching my unique paint series for GTA 5 Online. My name is Ryan. Thank you once again for watching. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.